Welcome back traders. In today's lesson, we're going to go over other robustness testing methods. We're going to use the same logic of each strategy and test on other markets using the settings summary page. I'll show you also how to do the same tests on multiple markets or time frames using the robustness testing additional markets feature. That will be in the robustness page. I will also show you how to use another Monte Carlo simulation on how to manipulate multiple data parameters to test the validity of each strategy. These are very powerful features and can be combined together in each project. So let's dive into the software. Welcome back traders. In today's lesson, we're going to go over other robustness testing. So what I did is in the builder, I build a strategy on pound US dollar daily time frame from 2003 to 2009. And I use the default template for in sample and out of sample. I pick the uh, I pick a daily template and left everything as is. So uh, I only played with the data same trading option, one trade per day, same building blocks, everything. Money management is one lot per trade. I didn't do any uh, uh, cross checks and the ranking was uh, simple based on uh, net profit and number of trades. So out of that, I got 2,500 uh, strategies, of course, which we set in the ranking. So here the data bank is need to be full of 2,500 strategies. So once that's done, I moved all the strategies to the retester. And these are the same strategies. Then I tested on the full data. So full data meaning, so it goes from 2003 to I actually picked December 2017. So I kept everything the same. I just changed the date. So now we're testing same strategies with same logic on the full data available. And I left the rest of the data as another out of sample. Now, out of the 2,500, only 60 passed the test which means they stayed profitable, same amount of, uh, same number of trades, okay? And of course you can test each of these and the, this is their equity and overview. Uh, and of course uh, we can uh, get uh, more data, list of trades, trade analysis and so forth. Now, after that I did another market. So this other market we are in the retester. We have our bank of strategies that we brought, and this is the successful number of strategies that's, that passed the full data set. Okay. Now, out of these, I can do more tests. So, for example, if you want to do another market, so for example, you can test the Aussie US dollar. So, keeping all the logic the same, same data. Uh, I mean time frame like from 2003 to 2017 assuming you downloaded that if you didn't download that then whatever data is available strategy quant will test on that segment so out of that only uh, nine strategies passed on the Aussie USD dollar so this is the same logic but now on a different pair so for example, if you picked the strategy 10707, and this is the code, and then I can go and you can see it's the same code. Obviously you couldn't, uh, probably couldn't see it because the loading is too fast, but see the code here, this is 10707, okay? And it's exactly if I double click on this, it's 10707. So it's same code, same everything. 
except now we're testing it on uh, a different data set. And this is very powerful. And you can see the, the options that you can do uh, out of this. Of course, the whole point of the software is to automate. So if you go to full setting, and now we go to robustness testing. So we did, in the last video, we did the higher test precision and Monte Carlo trade manipulation. And now we can do the additional market here. So instead of testing on one market, I actually can test on more than one market. So in this case, I can do two or three or more, whatever. So here I can test on, I can test, let's say, on four markets and on different time frames or on same market, let's say, I want to test on Aussie, but now the time frame I want to do it on four. So I, I'm going to test on Aussie US dollar daily time frame in here, and then on four hour bar time frame, and I'm going to test it on Euro USD and USD JPY, or you can delete. So in my test, I did it on these two markets, and then. I filtered, like the strategies has to pass these two filters, which is profit factor, more than 105, 105, and the net profit is more than 250. So these two conditions has to pass on every market you add here. Of course, you can, you can do it on less or more, or it's up to you, okay? And also in here, I wanna bring your attention that this is very customizable and I pick the easy customization. Save, and then when we run this test, we will end up with these strategies. So out of the 60 strategies that passed the whole data set of the pound USD, only two of them pass on the other two markets. And actually, if we look at the equity chart, so this is the equity chart of the pound USD. And now we have another equity chart, which is for the additional market, in this case, Aussie USD. And this is for the Euro USD. And in fact, you can see the portfolio of these strategies. That is, if you trade all of them. So this is the equity now of the additional markets. OK, and as you can see here, so this is the main one, the red, and then the green, is the Euro USD, and then the orange is the uh, Aussie USD. And this is the portfolio, if you trade all of them. Now, the other test that I did, which is the Monte Carlo uh, test. Now, this is different than the Monte Carlo trade manipulation, which can only randomize the trade orders and can skip trades with probability. In this case, we have a lot more. And then you can decide over how many simulations you need. And then you can decide on the filter. In this case, we need to pick the Monte Carlo retest method because we have the Monte Carlo trace manipulation method. OK, and the uh, confidence level. So out of this test, when I performed it on the full 60, uh, successful strategies here, I got seven strategies that pass this test. So seven of these strategies uh, has, has passed, and you can see the Monte Carlo curves for them. Of course, what you want in this case is you want these curves to be closer together to the original curve, which means that the strategy, so for example, the strategy you don't want to trade this strategy, yes, because uh, the the curves are so far apart from the original. And of course, you can filter this uh, when you do the conditions. So in the filtering here, uh, like for we picked 80%, and then we can pick 95% confidence level. So in that case, uh, you will get rid of strategies like this one, because more than 5% are, 
are away from the net profit uh, original net profit curve as you can see we barely touch the surface of the capabilities available in strategy quant and then of course the, these are the advanced and the more uh, reliable robustness uh, method now these all can be combined or can be done uh, separately and of course all this can be automated in the uh, custom projects so here you can customize the project where to start build strategies move them to the retester uh, create data banks and then do the robustness testing and then at the end save whatever strategy that passed through this is all can be automated and you will learn all of this uh, once you buy the full license because you're going to get a uh, much in-depth uh, video training series so i hope you are excited about the capabilities of strategy quant x you can imagine the things you can do with it combinations of tests portfolios it's really really powerful software in the next video we're going to pick one of these strategies and move it to a trading platform and actually trade it on a demo account or live account so i'll see you in the next video